Welcome back to another Glaze Kiln Unloading. This is Pottery by Malika. This turned out gorgeous. I happen to know that this lid is stuck, but it is gonna be only stuck a little bit, so I should be able to get that off. But that's gorgeous. And I have a handle that will go up, up and over the top. My vase with a hole in it. Very cool. It's another lidded one. Green on the inside for fun. That turned out really pretty. Love that. My three hold vase. Turned out cool. And the other three hold vase, the other direction. This vase. So this is that wasabi color. I'm still trying to decide if I like it. I think I really do though. I think I like it. It's my cute little small vertical vase. A lot of vases in here. That's okay. I like vases. This one looks like a vase, but it's actually a tumbler for my dad's birthday. He likes to drink a whole lot of water at once, so I made him a big one. power tumbler there. Just love how the celadon glaze looks on texture. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. My flower one. Super pretty. Some more texture. And some lines. This one I was experimenting with putting underglaze in little holes that I carved and then putting a cell down over the top. And I think that turned out really cool. I think I'll do that again. This one was not a cell down. It was a different Mako, a Mako glaze. I wanted to see how it looked on this clay body. I think it kind of ate the texture a little bit on this particular one. That's all right pretty colors. This one, this vase, I just did some little finger dimples for fun. This one turned out good. I did it a little thicker around the rim so you can see that. Just kind of what happened when I dipped it. But it's cool. I like it like that. So this bowl is kind of flowery looking. I like that. Well, I got a couple bigger things. Not this one. This one's so small. A couple bigger things down there, though. I'll get them in a second. They turned out really pretty. Alright. Here's ready. Ready for a big one. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. That's that really pretty jade color that I like a lot. That turned out gorgeous. And then this I made like one of my first things in the studio. Just hadn't gotten around to firing yet. A little, little casserole dish for home with some dot things on the outside. <laughs> that turned out good. And I've got a couple tiny things. Some textured little bowl things. I was kind of thinking about putting candles in these. We'll see if I do that or not. And I've got that luminary. I've got a short on that. Me carving that. Looks great. Love this one. Oh my gosh. Did several of these. They ended up a couple different kiln loads and I just love them. They're so cool. I think jade might be my favorite color, guys. Just love, love, love how that looks. This is again jade. But I did blue on the inside for fun. Though the jade's fun too. Obviously. This mug looks really great. Yep, that's what I was... I was eyeing this one. Oh my gosh. That bowl is so pretty. Holy cow. I love that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to hand you that one. I really like it. Tumbler. I think it's a little mediocre 
in a few spots there. I'll just use it for holding tools, perhaps. This mug's cool, though. I like the mug. That jade again, and then there's one more thing down there. Get it with my long arms. Yes, thank you, long arms. Oh, that bowl turned out so pretty. That This is the downpour color, and that's really gorgeous on texture, too. Love that. Great. Thanks for watching.